Hello, how's it going? Mr. S here. Um, today I was just going to talk about um, using UAD plugins and the favorite feature in Ableton Live to help out when selecting your um, UAD plugins in um, Ableton. Uh, when you buy a UAD system and install it, uh, all the plugins are installed and when you buy one uh, you authorize it so when you're choosing uh, your plugins just go to custom here you can see all the UAD plugins are installed and there's been a quite a few questions on the Facebook forum how um, can I only display the plugins that I have authorized out of the whole selection uh, so it can help speed up my workflow. Uh, there are a few uh, ways to do this but in um, Ableton Live I've found the best way is to use the new favorite feature over here. Uh, so as you can see what I've done is um, I've chosen grey for UAD, doesn't matter what colour you choose. Um, you can um, click on this box here and rename it to, well, sensibly the name of the plugins that you're going to tag with that favourite colour. Go down here to um, your UAD control panel and you can look through and see which plugins you've authorized out of the whole suite. Now when you're in the middle of writing music and in your workflow uh, trying to stop and remember which plugins you have authorized out of all the UAD plugins that are on your system, a quick way to um, select them is simply to create uh, a uh, favorites list of them by adding them over here and a quick way to do that is uh, we click on here which will show all the plugins as we saw before and you can see here that um, I have the ones I have authorized sorry right so rather than remember which ones those are, what I did was cross-referenced, should have kept that open, sorry about that, cross-referenced what plugins out of all of them I have authorized. Now you can simply look through here and see the ones that I've favorited and you favorite a plugin or an instrument or anything in life uh, by simply right clicking on it and this little window appears and you can give it a favorite color and it's then added to that favorite uh, selection with the appropriate color and in my uh, setup I've got gray selected for UAD I could simply select them here from this list but once again I'd have to scroll through to find them so when I've added them to my favorite UAD folder there they all are ready to use which will speed up your workflow in Ableton Live um, so that's a really good um, way to use uh, the favorite um, feature of Ableton Live 10 with uh, external plugins. I've done that with a number of other plugins that I own, my unfiltered audio ones, my Arturia isotope, my native instruments, complete ultimate, a famous fab filter, and kilohertz. Um, and I think it probably works best when you've um, got 
a lot of plugins from one particular company, one third party company. Um, as you can see, Kilo Hearts has loads of plugins in their suite, uh, as does um, UAD. So it's a really good uh, tip um, to use uh, with um, uh, plugins when there's a lot of them from a particular company. Uh, the other ones you can just um, select normally. Go to your local folder. Some of them are already um, assigned to their own, own folder, so it makes it easier to select. Um, I'm not sure whether you can add um, more to this favorite list. Maybe you can. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, that's just a quick tip today on um, how to um, utilize uh, the favorite section of Ableton Live 10 with uh, UAD plugins. If you use another door, um, I believe there is other options, but um, you can find information about them on the web or by joining one of the UAD forums. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.